So what are we going to do here is we are going to create one interface and this interface is something which you are going to do in a global interface and so to start off with in SAP a map groups concept so we are creating a global interface and this global interface we are doing in the SAP 24 transaction and after this after creating this global interface we are going to go ahead and create a program uh, class which will consume this global interface this is also a global class that we are going to create and this is also something which we are going to do in ac 24 and after this we are going to create a program in which we are going to use this global class so the implementation of this uh, interface and class at uh, will be completely in the global class itself so we are going to just call them into the program so we're going to understand this concept with a very simple basic example and let's start off with that now okay i hope you are clear with this uh, to be precise I'm, i'll create this as something like zda underscore if and uh, the technical name and i'm doing this as so i'm doing this as uh, Z B underscore I F and here we put Z B underscore C L. This is some Z B underscore class. So this is what we have. So these are the three things that we are going to create now. Let's do that. So here we are going to go into the transaction code SC24 and we're going to create an interface called uh, Z B underscore I F. And we'll click on create. So when you click on create, it will ask you whether do you want to create a class or an interface. Now that you are creating an interface, you have to select the interface and say OK. And uh, so click on you can you can save it in a package and then we have the methods and attributes. So in the methods, I'll give something like M1. Level is instance method and interface method. Okay, so this is interface method, and we'll just save it. You can also declare some variables as well. So just in case that we so just to show you that we can also say attributes. I'll say a a is an interface a is a variable here. Instance attribute, then we have associate type is numc underscore 5. And as you know, in the interface, you cannot do the implementation, even if you double click, it will not take you anywhere. But normally, in the class, what happens if you double click on it, it will take you to the next scan, like uh, the implementation screen, right? So, this is what we have. So, that's it. So, this is how we have created an interface. So you can create as many attributes as you want, you can create as many methods as you want and then we can go ahead and activate it more. So this is active now and once it's active you can come back and go for the class CL and create. Now that you are creating a class you have to select the first video button only, let it be like that and class and then we can go for OK, save. And here in the interface, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the interface and add that interface here, set the underscore IM. Okay, and the moment you do this, okay, the moment you give that uh, interface and now come to the methods, automatically that method will come here, which you are, you are expected to implement. If you don't implement, system will not accept it. Okay, so by default it will come. This is what I want to show you. And attributes also, if you see that Z B and Scribe tilt A is already here. Now you can do the implementation part of this, and uh, I'm creating M1 here. So M1 is a normal uh, method that we have it in, in within the class. We can give some other name also.
now you have to do the implementation for this um, method. And interface method C that double click on one draft C right. Save back. So we have done the implementation for both the both the methods. We can also actually consider adding using that attribute whatever we have somewhere. But even if you declare something and not use it, it's okay. So as of now, I'm just ignoring that. And, and please activate the entire class one uh, when one go. Please don't try to activate the method individually from here. Come out, save it and come out and activate it from here. Okay. Now that you have already used this set V underscore CL is the class uh, that we have here. Let me go to the DC38 now. So here let's go for Z V underscore say class CL interface. CLIF. So IF and click on create class with interface with object. Now here we'll make use of that class. The class that we created here. The class that we had created happens to be um, ZB underscore CL, right? So data OBJ. It's not that it's not mandatory that we have to always give OBJ, but it's it's a general practice for me personally for me. So you can give some other name also. Type up to ZB underscore CL. This is the one which we have, and then we'll go for startup selection, create object OBJ. Then we have to go ahead with call model. Call method OPG M1. This is the first one. It's a, it's a normal uh, class. Whatever we define in the class is come here. Now, then I'm calling the then I'll be calling the call method OPG I1 tilt M1. I1 tilt M1 happens to be the no, not I1. What is the interface name that we have? Uh, that was okay. Let me let me copy it from here in the from the class. Let me copy that as ZBAIF and tilt M1. ZBAIF tilt M1. So this will be ZBIF tilt and map. So so I'm class and method and class method and interface method. So then what we have uh, just let me also use slash there. So now what happens here is that we are calling it from the program. So we first declared the interface, then we, we consume that interface in the class, and then we de declare the methods in the in the class, and then we consume it here. This is what we have done. 